Hello everyone, Golden Ruffy here. Today I want to test and see if you can trade from an English ruby copy to a Japanese sapphire copy. So first off, I'm just going to show off my shinies in case my save file is somehow corrupts. And these are all legit shinies, I did not cheat any of them, so if I lose these, this is actually going to suck. So yeah, my starters and two shinies I got, other shinies, alright. So I'm going to test this really quick, and if it corrupts my save data, then, then like this video, please. So yeah, I've, I've seen a... Sorry, I can't speak anymore. It's been really hard to find information about if you can trade between an English and Japanese copy of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, so I'm going to be testing that today. I should have said that at the start of the video, but yeah. Let's hope it doesn't corrupt, because last time I tried this, this is my second time recording it, and the first time my link cable got disconnected. I'm going to hope this works. I'm just trading two normal Zigzagoons in case it corrupts my shinies. Okay, let me go in the English game, so I know what it says. Okay, trade. Trade. Let's hope this doesn't corrupt my game. Everything looks good so far. Okay, nothing's corrupted so far. Looks like we're good. There we go, it transferred over. Now let me exit and everything should be fine. I'll check both of the Zigzagoon's summaries and everything. Assuming my game doesn't corrupt. Okay, cancel on both games. Okay, whatever, just do that. Okay. Oh, I can't just cancel. Okay. Sorry, I didn't realize my camera was pointing down. What's going on? I don't read Japanese. There we go. Alright, can I check my party in here? It's called Ziga in that other game. There we go. Both Zigzagoons transferred over. So it, it looks like it's true. You can transfer from an English game to a Japanese game. So I hope this helped you out. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.